Welcome to our final weekly market review for 2023. We've moved into a new office space, so very exciting things coming up for ETM in 2024. But as for this week, most of the major central banks will be making their final decisions for 2023. The Fed, the ECB, Bank of England, SMB, they're all meeting this week. No major shifts are expected, but what we could see is a shift in tone that will confirm whether rates have reached their peak and that cuts are on the card sometime in the new year. Any dovish shifts will keep the the risk rally going into the year end. The Fed will be looking at November's CPI data, which will precede this week's meeting to really set the stage for the discussions. Inflation is likely to have moderated further, but the Fed is facing a balancing act. The labor market is proving more robust than expected. Friday's jobs data, for example, came out stronger than expected. Although the labor market is showing signs of loosening, it's still resilient and it's squashing baits for fast monetary loosening. Given these events marketing moving potential, traders will navigate this week with caution without adopting a directional stance that is too convicted. And this will extend to RAND traders as well. The currency remains extremely undervalued, but the mounting domestic failures will restrict the RAND's performance. Also, just a quick add-on on China. When taking the latest manufacturing PMI into account, which performed much better than expected, along with last week's services PMI, which showed a slight improvement, it seems like China's stimulus measures are kicking the economy into gear. It's, however, too soon to be overly optimistic. The problems in the property sector remains a significant risk. China's sluggish economic performance is also dampening the demand for oil. And despite OPEC's measures to support the market, they weren't sufficient to offset the recent rise in global inventories, pushing prices down. And not only that, the supply outlook has turned more bearish as more non-OPEC Plus members start to ramp up their own production. Countries like Venezuela is looking to dust off old oil fields. And these moves could potentially be a swing factor for the oil market in years to come. Also happening this week, domestically, we have a bunch of releases coming out. Manufacturing and mining data for October will be coming out on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, retail sales as well as inflation figures will be released. CPI is expected to have slowed further in November. And based on fuel prices, headline CPI could fall back towards the soft midpoint level by December, reinforcing the belief that the interest rate hiking cycle has ended. Apart from the central banks and the US CPI, and there's not much else. We will likely keep an eye on the manufacturing production out of the US. That's it then. It has certainly been an interesting 2023. Geopolitically, at least, markets were kept on their toes and 2024 may very well build on this surprise theme. Several elections are scheduled for next year, including in the US, Russia and India. And in the EU, they will have block-wide elections to appoint new members to the European Parliament. So these events will contribute significantly to the shape of the second half of the decade. South Africans, of course, will also be heading to the polls where the ANC is facing a credible threat to their majority rule for the first time since 1994. So who knows? Get some rest and buckle up for what is promising to be a bumper 2024.